Attention, corporations, news networks, news stations, lawmakers, governors, business owners, billionaires, advocacy groups, lobbyists, influencers, hedge funds, investment groups, or anybody else I may not have mentioned in this list who has boatloads of money and or influence. I have a message for you on behalf of the blind to billionaire community, this community right here, in regards to stimulus checks and the massive importance of another one. Let's get into it right away. But if you haven't done so yet, or if you haven't seen this mug yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video so you can see other very important messages from me going forward over the coming days and weeks. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And right down below the video next to the subscribe button, there's a share button. Feel free to share this video as this is a very important message and we want to talk about some very important things here. So let's get into this right away. All right. So as I mentioned, this community right here, is the Blind to Billionaire community, and my name is Matt, and I am back every single day as the one and only daily advocate, the self-proclaimed daily advocate for hundreds of thousands of people right here in this community. Here's the problem. The vast majority of the people in this community are, are people living on a small fixed income, typically from Social Security, Retirement, Disability, SSDI, Survivors, SSI, VA, RRB, or low income or even no income individuals. This is a huge group of people right here in this community, which only makes up a small fraction of the total number of people in this community in the entire United States. About 100 million people encompass this entire community as a whole, which is either fixed income or low income. About one third of the population right here in the United States. It's a massive number of people. Here's the problem. We've been calling out to Congress for months and months and months, asking, begging, pleading, doing everything we possibly can to get the attention of lawmakers to get an additional fourth stimulus check out specified on these groups of people, low income and fixed income Americans who are getting absolutely crushed right now by all of this inflation. Well, as you know, I'm just a dude on YouTube. I only have so much influence. However, all the people that I named at the beginning of this video, like I said, news stations, corporations, lawmakers, governors, billionaires, business owners, hedge funds, investment groups, influencers, you know the whole list. All of these people have not only boatloads of money, which by the way, I'd love to grab some of that and spread it out to my community. If you just so want to help us with that effort, <laughs> feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to be able to share some of your enormous success with the people right here in this community by throwing everybody just a little bone, maybe a thousand bucks, maybe 2000, whatever we can figure out. But I sure know it would go a long way to the hundreds of thousands of people right here in this community. It'd be amazing. Anyway, we all do recognize right now that unfortunately for these hundreds of thousands of people, they are struggling so incredibly badly right now. Report after report after report that we see on a regular basis continues to come out showing that the low income and fixed income individuals in this country are getting smacked right now when it comes to all of this inflation, their income is staying the same, and all of the prices on basically everything that they're buying continues to rise. Therefore, you know as well as I do, prices are getting away from people and the purchasing power of their dollars is depleting. We all understand this, right? It's a group of very smart people here. We all understand this. So it's no surprise to anybody that we do need an additional stimulus check. We continue to reach out to lawmakers, the president, everybody, time and time again. Unfortunately, they don't listen to anything that we say. Well, again, like I said, I only have so much pull being a YouTuber, being an influencer here on YouTube. Again, I only have so much influence. However, all of the people from the list that I mentioned a couple times now at the beginning of the video and just a minute ago, all of you have massive influence. I mean, seriously, you control a lot of things, right? You have a lot of pull, you have a lot of say, you have influence, you have money, you have things behind you, right? Here's the thing. On the behalf of the community, we're reaching out to you, please. Can we work together? Again, we're not here to ask for a bunch of money, uh, but again, <laughs> if you want to share, please feel free. We'd be glad to take a little bit of that, and ultimately, it's probably going to come back to you in the end anyway, because we are the people who need to go out into the community, spend that money on goods and services, probably buying from you and your corporation. So once again, the money's just going to come right back to you. My point is, with all of your influence, your impact, the money, the persuasion that you have, 
what can we do to work with you? Or what can you do to help us during this time to lobby onto Congress to lobby them for an additional fourth stimulus check? Like I've said in so many of my videos, we do not need a fourth stimulus check for every citizen in the United States like we did um, a couple times already, right? We don't need that. The studies have shown time and time again, not every American needs a stimulus check right now. It's been proven to us. We don't need it. However, it's the lower income people, primarily those people under $40,000 of income. Again, as we've seen some, from so many reports, time and time again, the reports show us those individuals living on a small fixed income or just a low income, primarily under $40,000, are those individuals who take the stimulus checks because the three that we've seen so far over there uh, since early 2020, we've gotten a lot of data on this. We continue to find that these are the people who go out and spend the money quickly on necessities. Why? Well, a lot of times they unfortunately need to either borrow from friends or family, maybe get a personal loan, or even worse, float it on a credit card. Well, that's an unfortunate situation. So a lot of times these people um, are the ones who need to go out and restock because they've lived such a thin life for so long, they need to go back and stock up on some of the things that they haven't been able to stock up on for many, many months. Therefore, these are the people that we continue to find need that fourth stimulus check. So we're reaching out, again, I'm reaching out on the behalf of this community, asking if there's anybody who can help us reach out to Congress, use your influential powers, your influence, all the, the backing that you have, the lobbyists, anybody that you have, to maybe help us work on Congress to get a focused fourth stimulus check. And I wanna reiterate, focused for a stimulus check. We are not looking for everybody in the country to get a stimulus check. Nope, that's not what we're asking for. We are simply asking for the most vulnerable and highest risk individuals out there, low income, those people on a fixed income or low income to get a fourth stimulus check. Now here's the thing, let's be specific. You know as well as I do, when you ask and you do, uh, expect to receive something, you gotta be specific for what you're asking for. So in this event, we're asking for at least a $1,400 stimulus check simply because that is what this administration is already comfortable doing because they've already done it. Earlier in 2021, we got the 1400 or if there just so happens to be a little bit of luck in the equation, maybe we could even grab $2,000. But like I said, ultimately, all of this is gonna flow back to everybody that I mentioned earlier. Some people might take this money and invest it in an investment fund or a hedge fund. Great. Some people, the vast majority, are gonna go out to corporations. They're gonna spend it on goods and services, right? They maybe go out to their local retail stores and buy it on clothes or spend it on clothing or food or shoes or whatever, maybe a new car. I don't really know. My point is it's going to be consumable money. Therefore, it's gonna be going out and it's gonna be spent. And uh, a lot of you who I'm calling out to in this video, this money's gonna flow right back to you. So ultimately it's gonna come right back to your bottom line. So my point is, just a little bit more effort here if we can all kind of stick together here and work on Congress to get a fourth stimulus check, whether it happens to be 1400 or even better, $2,000, you're probably gonna see it show up in your bottom line anyway. So at the end of the day, it's gonna be a win-win for everybody, right? The low income, the fixed income, they get a little bit of relief going forward. And ultimately, their co the corporations, everybody I mentioned, you'll probably grab a little bit of this share as well. Therefore, let's stick together. Let's do something about this. Congress is on the cusp of spending about $2 trillion on the Build Back Better agenda. You know as well as I do, I've looked into it a lot. There's not much in that bill, right? It's $2 trillion of a whole lot of nothing, right? Well, what can we do to grab some of that money to help out the people who need it the most right now and ultimately flow that money back to everybody here who's helping us out with this initiative, get some money and relief to those low-income people, right? Now again, of course, I can't take sides when it comes to the Build Back Better agenda, but I've looked through it. And honestly, we were looking for $2 trillion and we were looking for a lot of really good things in this bill to help out low-income Americans who are struggling so bad, like, badly right now, like a stimulus check or some kind of additional relief. But realistically, it's not in there, right? We've got the extension of the child tax credit, which will be great for about 36 or 38 million families. But other than that, what about... Uh, what about the Social Security beneficiaries who maybe are retired 60, you know, seven years old and uh, getting Social Security benefits? What about them? 
who they don't have kids that are under the age 18. They don't qualify for the CTC. Maybe they should get a little bit of relief as well. Now, don't get me wrong. I think the child tax credit payments are great for the people who are qualified to get them. Amazing. Seriously, life-changing payments on a monthly basis. Great. But at the same time, just like the president said while campaigning, we cannot forget about those people living on a small fixed income who are the what the, the president said the most vulnerable and highest risk individuals in this country and these people should never need to live in poverty in America. Unfortunately, the vast majority of these individuals, especially right here in this community, are unfortunately living in poverty. That is not a fun situation. It is not fun. It is not okay. It is not fair, right? Especially in the most affluent country in the entire world. So if all of us can stick together with this, this is my message to you. Okay, maybe you want to participate, that'd be amazing. Maybe you don't. At the very least, let's share this video. Let's get it out in front of as many people as we can. Let's let let's let's torture everybody and make them look at this mug for about however many minutes this video is. I don't know, six, seven, eight minutes. I don't really know how long I've been talking for, but either way, it doesn't really matter. I'm trying to get my point across that it at this time right now, COVID is surging. There's all kinds of things going on out there. There's uh, some voluntary closures of different businesses. There's restrictions being put in place. We're in the colder months of the year, right? We're in the getting to be in the dead of winter right now, getting into be a kind of a dangerous time of year with uh, very cold temperatures. And we also know that energy prices are surging as well. Therefore, a larger portion of the fixed income that many of these beneficiaries are receiving is being pushed right out the door into energy price, uh, energy, um, energy bills. Again, not a fun way to spend money, right? Of course, we want to stay warm, but at the same time, it's kind of hard to pay increasing energy bills when everybody's just trying to get enough food on the table every single month. Can you kind of see what we're talking about here? Now, here's the thing. Most people don't really recognize. If nobody has ever lived in this situation, it's really hard to describe because nobody really understands until you actually live it. Maybe that'd be a good challenge for many people. Try living on a fixed income. Maybe allocate, I don't know, $200, not even. Yeah, $200 for maybe a week. Try to live on $200 a week. <laughs> It's not going to be a fun uh, a situation. So that, that maybe give you a little bit of a glimpse into what it's like trying to live on a fixed income. And remember, that 200 that I just mentioned to live on for a week needs to cover everything. Your gas, your car insurance, your food, your clothing, your utilities, your rent, everything, right? So... I think all of us at this point know $200 these days doesn't get you much, especially when you go out and you're paying 5, 10, 15, 20 or more percent more on the same old goods and services that we were buying just earlier this year and things have inflated so much. So we got to do what we can. And anyway, this is my message reaching out to anybody out there with influence that may come across this video. Let's do what we can, please. We're asking you for your influence. We're asking for your support. We're asking for something. At the very least, share this video. That's all we're asking of you. If you if you don't want to reach out to Congress and do what you can uh, with your influence and your impact, that's fine. You know what? Even just sharing this video would help a ton trying to get this video in front of even more people. So we're trying to do everything we can. I've reached out to Congress numerous times through letters. I have a whole stack of letters that I've sent over to Congress. I've made phone calls. I've sent out emails. I've reached out to advocacy groups, doing what we can, asking, what can we do to collaborate? What can we do to work together? What can we do to get a focused stimulus check for all of these low income and fixed income Americans? Well, Congress uh, apparently has tunnel vision and um, doesn't really pay attention to anything that I've been working on. So that's why we're reaching out to you asking, oh, what can we do? Let's work together on this thing. So anyway, please leave your comments or questions down below. Even if you don't do that, like I said, share the video. Let's get this out in front of people. Do what we can for anybody, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, corporations, lawmakers, governors, billionaires, business owners, advocacy groups, advocates, um, influencers, hedge funds, influ um, investment groups. I mean, literally, the list goes on and on and on. I could sit here for 10 minutes talking through a list of anybody I could possibly think of that has boatloads of money and influence and doing what we can to reach out to Congress. Everybody knows that you have a lot more influence than I do right here on the channel, which is why we're reaching out in this message asking, please, let's get some support on this and let's go and do what we can with Congress to get them to issue a highly focused fourth stimulus check. Thank you so much for watching this. I appreciate it. And make sure to share this. Otherwise, hit that subscribe button right down below. So of course, you can see more of me in next videos.
And by the way, when I say more me, I just mean like more me in <laughs> in more videos going forward. Yeah, uh, this is a G-rated show. I'm sorry. So anyway, uh, thanks again for watching. I really do appreciate it. Enjoy your day. Subscribe down below. It's totally free to do so. And I will catch you again later.